and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. My name is Adam Clark, otherwise known as Wizard Keen, and today in 101 Ideas we're going to be looking at some redstone and some rail mechanics, uh, and we're going to challenge you uh, to create your own redstone uh, and rail mechanics as well. Now. Uh, I'm going to show you some techniques that I've used recently to create a uh, sort of a special effect to make sure uh, to make something happen uh, within a kind of a roller coaster ride. So first of all, let me show you what I've created, and then we'll get into we'll actually get into the kind of the actual how we how it was done. So we go around our roller coaster ride, we pause here, we get revealed a picture, and then we carry on our, our roller coaster ride. So it pauses for a short period of time. We go along here, we get stopped, we get stuck, it closes that again, it resets itself, and then the minecart carries on uh, going. So so there's a, there's quite a lot of different things happening here all at the same time. Let's, let me jump off this and uh, try and stop this from going around. It's going to go around once more, but I'm going to stop it over here, I think. Let's just start. Boop. There we go. <laughs> so let's go over that uh, slowly because it's almost like done in like oh it's too fast so I don't know what's going on uh, so there's a couple of things going on here we uh, the Minecraft comes around the corner and gets stuck here and while it's stuck there these pistons retract and uh, and we get to view this spooky picture behind once the pistons once over then a little bit of time uh, it happens a delay okay and then once that delay is over uh, our minecart gets pushed again we get we get going and this resets it closes up again so we uh, uh, we close the this gap so we can't see the painting anymore on it and it goes round again so you could this could be really really long it could this could be just one set of it as well but the thing is that the this thing resets so it means that uh, you know if anybody else comes along, they're going to get as kind of a spooky thing as well, and we can uh, we can kind of change the delay of that at the same time. Okay, so let's talk about how all some of this works. So there's some bits and pieces. So as as you probably know, you can power rails with the power rail over here. Uh, over here, this square thing, okay, is called a detector rail. And what happens with the detector rail is that when a minecart goes over it. Okay, it actually sends a signal. Okay, um, let's do another one. Okay, uh, and that <laughs> there we go. It's all resetting itself. It thinks that uh, a minecart's come over it. Uh, so when a minecart runs over this one, it triggers a signal, uh, and this goes into this contraption over here. Now uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about this. This is called a flip flop. Okay. Uh, and when I was trying to solve this problem about you know how do we how do we delay a signal how do we maintain a signal okay uh, for a period of time and then turn that signal off again okay so and and this was part of my solution because I don't know if you know but if it once if you've got a detector rail okay it uh, it will turn on and then immediately turn off again. Let me let me show you. Let, let's let's do an example over here. Okay, uh, get to detector rail, and we'll put down some rails here, and we'll go do 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 like this, and then we'll have the detector rail there. Okay, put some redstone down. Uh, get our detector rail on. Okay, you can see it uh, immediately. Kind of has that over it as well, and then I'm going to put a redstone lamp there. Okay, I'm going to get into my minecart over here. And uh, we're going to go along, and we're going to look at that lamp, and the lamp goes off. So it's good for doing things like that. You could open doors and things like that, but it would immediately close down. And I wanted these uh, the detector the, the the thing to pause for a period of time. Now I thought originally we could just do that with repeaters, and there are several repeaters around the edge of here uh, that slows the signal down. Okay, but. <laughs> That this one here, so we got we got this one going to this thing, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So this one goes round the corner, round here, all the way around here. So this signal is all about this block here. So this, once you get stuck on here, it takes a little bit of time. Okay, it comes all the way around the corner, all the way up here, and then it finally triggers this. This pushes this forward, 
triggering these um, uh, these powered rails under here, and then off you go. So that is that pauses the player on the minecart for as long as you've got um, a kind of redstone repeaters. You know, so you can you can make you can make this as long as you like. You can have it for like five minutes, kind of, and the redstone signal just just sort of working its way around. But that didn't open and close these things. Okay, so this is what this is. So this is called a flip flop. Okay, and it flips the signal on and off depending on when when we've got a signal. So here's it working. So once you go across there, this signal goes along here uh, and triggers the flip flop. So it goes, I'm going into one state, and then after a while, when this other signal's gone around the back, and uh, once we've gone through our pause this block again goes back into here and triggers it off and then turns it back again and that's this on and off section over here now if that sounds a little bit complicated i've got a uh, i've got a different version over here to show you uh, and that you can use flip flops for lots of different reasons for example we've got one here uh, this is a different design and there are lots of designs and what i'm going to not do is i'm not going to show you how to build i might show you how to build the one i built but i'm not going to show you there are hundreds of different types and styles of flip-flops so you might even be able to kind of create your own it's really up to you uh, so um that's the kind of like if you want to go super advanced so if i use this button here and press this it uh it turns that lamp off and you could probably see what's going on if I fly up here as well, I'll go along there. So there's a signal there, okay. And that's going off. Why is it going off? And why is it going on? So if we think about this, if we put, um, if I'm gonna build something for you so you can kind of see how this one works, okay. Um, so what we've got down there, we've got a a redstone lamp down here okay and then we've got redstone coming off and the redstone signal isn't attached to the lamp unless okay the lamp that the block above it is powered to power the block above it yeah because uh, redstone signal from a lamp goes up okay so if there's a block above it it will power it and if there isn't a block above it it won't power it so there, there's your kind of simple mechanics so this is this pistons these pistons that push uh, this backwards and forwards is that it pushes this block that gets powered by the uh, redstone lamp underneath and thus powering this lamp and that's because we're using a switch so switches are really good they're really useful but of course uh, normally a switch if we if we could just grab one over here uh, is a delayed signal so I'll just go on here and I'll pop it on here and I'll watch what happens I'll turn it on it's on for a while and then it pop, pops back out after a couple of seconds, oh, you know, a couple of seconds, and then it turns itself off. Whereas this will maintain the signal uh, until it gets another poke. Okay. Now that's important because what we've got here, we've got a first signal that goes along, triggering this and allowing us, and then we've sent another signal that takes a little bit of time, goes all the way around the outside, goes all the way around here, and sends another signal to push the, the minecart forward, okay? Uh, and then and then it gives it another, this this T flip-flop thing, it's this flip-flop machine, rather, over here gets set, gets triggered again. So I'm gonna show you how to build this one, because this is like the, one of the most compact ones over here. Uh, so let's grab some stone, and I'll show you how it's built. Uh, so we kind of put uh, we put one block down here, uh, and this has got the our button on if you like, uh, and then we take and uh, we go uh, one two, and then we want uh, a let's get all my materials so I, I know what I'm actually doing one two three, and then we put that there, put redstone in front of it, okay, so it's facing this way. Then around here we need um, we need some other bits and pieces. Where are they? Oh, we need. A redstone comparator and a redstone repeater. So we're going to put the redstone repeater facing in towards the uh, sticky piston. Okay. Then a redstone comparator facing in and facing forward. And then we need just a redstone torch popping over here. And then we're just going to need a little bit of redstone dust uh, to go around the corner. So it goes dump, 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 boom, like that. Okay. So these two comparators are working in unison. Let's show you how this, oh, and then this over here is the output 
Okay, so uh, let's get a lamp there to show you what's going on. These are good examples. Now, it, it could be a lamp, or it could be, as we've got over here, pistons doing their job. So it's up to you. So what we're going to press the button, and it pushes it forward and leaves it there, which is really nice. And then whenever we get a new, new signal, boom, it does that. Now, you can do all sorts of stuff. So I've taken, uh, my example is not a button, but a... Uh, a detector rail okay so whenever the th that goes on it sends a signal and whenever it goes off and then on again okay so that's that's what I've been doing <laughs> that's that's my uh, my work that I've been up to uh, this weekend let's also put that redstone signal back on there let's, let's remember how to do it if if that was too fast for you, just stop the video, watch it again. Also, just do take a look at all the other videos. Uh, there are tons of tons of uh, tutorials on the internet you can have a look at. Uh, so um, let's go through this once more again, and I'll show you from uh, up above uh, what it all looks like. Okay, so there's my little self. Okay, I'm going to push myself forward. I'm going around, and I get paused on here. Uh, you can kind of see some of the kind of uh, redstone whipping around the sides there, uh, triggering things. So we can see that it's triggered on both sides. Okay, takes a little bit of time and comes around. It's a really nice mechanic, uh, and I'm quite pleased that it would work. It did take me a little bit of time, and the thing that took time was, uh, and the thing that I kind of enjoy about redstone is that it's it's a kind of a little bit like a puzzle, and there's no right and wrong way of doing it. Okay, there's just uh, there's just different ways of doing it and that might sound a bit crazy uh, but it's absolutely true I'm gonna wait for this my to come around there we go get rid of it <laughs> otherwise it would go around forever um, there's just different ways of doing it and the you know you can either do it at quite baggy and this is quite baggy or you can make it super compact and if you watch people on YouTube you'll see that they kind of you know there's that there are different solutions uh, for different problems and the only real real way of kind of learning the the craft of it yourself is by having a go okay the things that it will teach you and the reason why it's good is it teaches you some really decent problem solving skills problem solving skills are transferable into many different walks of life uh, and you can use them uh, to solve creative problems or just sort of uh, lateral thinking or uh, or kind of just critical thinking problems as well uh, so there these skills are wonderfully transferable and I suppose what makes it it's what makes Minecraft such a, a sort of a uniquely uh, educational and uh, or sometimes frustrating game to play at the same time I hope you've enjoyed that uh, little demonstration I'm going to leave this as a schematic in the description below and you'll be able to download this and use MC edit to edit this into your own world if you want to have a closer look at it and see how it all works until then I just want to thank you very much uh, for watching and I'll see you all later until then Bye.